everyone, this is Nafisa and welcome to another yummy episode of Nafs Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a super quick recipe for dokla. So let's have a look at the ingredient and let's get started. For this recipe we will need 2 cups of semolina, 2.5 cups of yogurt, 1.5 teaspoon of lemon flavored eno fruit salt, 20 to 25 curry leaves chopped finely, pinch of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of salt. For the syrup, we will need 1 cup of water, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of mustard seeds, 3 tablespoon of oil. I have used 2 tablespoon of oil for the syrup and half a tablespoon just to grease the pan for the dokla. In preparation for this recipe, turn the cooker on and keep the steamer ready. This is because as soon as we put the eno salt in the ingredient, it needs to go on the steamer to get the best texture of the dokla. Put semolina in a mixing bowl. Add salt and turmeric powder. Now add curry leaves. Now the yogurt, all of it. As you can see, the yogurt and the semolina and the rest of the ingredients are mixed well. Now we will add eno salt. One and a half teaspoon of eno salt. And mix quickly. Grease the pan with a little bit of oil all around. Spread the mixture nicely on the pan and then the dhokla will be ready to steam. Shake it and now we will put it in the steamer. Steam this dhokla for 10 minutes. The dhokla is ready and we are taking it out from the steamer. oil in a pan. The oil is hot so I'll add the mustard seeds. When it starts to pop, add sugar. Just stir it like this a little bit. Add water and cover. Increase the heat and boil for 2-3 to three minutes. Cool the dhokla for 10 minutes and then you can start to cut the dhokla. Try to make a diamond shape. Once the dokla is placed on the dish, add the syrup on top of the dokla. Garnish with chopped coriander leaves. Serve the dokla with coriander chutney. I have used one bunch of chopped coriander, one medium sized raw mango, 5 cloves of garlic, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, 2 tablespoon of yogurt and 3 to 4 green chilies. You can add more green chilies if you want the chutney to be spicy. Blend well and your coriander chutney is ready. There you have it, a super quick Indian dokla with coriander chutney. Do try it at home and I'm sure everyone in your family will love this dokla.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click here to subscribe for more videos. If you want to watch more of Nav's Kitchen, just click here. See you next time with some more yummy recipes from Nav's Kitchen. Bye-bye.